It's now 2019 and it's just been a little over a year since BitConnect went down. And at this point, a lot of people are looking back since we just had the one year anniversary of it going down. And a lot of people are wondering, where are the BitConnect boys? Trayvon James, Craig Grant, Ryan Hildreth, where are these guys? So today, that's what we are covering. This is BitConnect boys 2019. Where are they now? So like I mentioned, today's video is all about the BitConnect boys. It's been over a year. A lot of people are still really curious. What are these guys up to in 2019? Are they in jail? Are they doing new scams? That's what we're going to talk about. There was four main guys that were the big scammers at the top. There was Craig Grant. He was the head honcho. Everyone remembers him. There was Trayvon James. Ryan Hildreth came late to the BitConnect party, but he got really big. And then, of course, there was Crypto Nick. Let's start out with Crypto Nick, and there's nothing new to talk about that kid. Uh, he just disappeared off the face of the planet after BitConnect went down. A lot of people think that he is, a lot of people have heard that he is potentially going to be helping the prosecutors in the, gaze, in the case against BitConnect and the BitConnect boys like Craig Grant. Now, those cases are still ongoing. Some people think those are gone. No, they're still ongoing. Uh, cases just take a long time to go through the court system. There are at least three that I know of, I believe, maybe even a fourth in another country, but there's three here in the U.S. Those cases are still happening. Uh, but yeah, with Crypto Nick, there's really nothing to report on that kid. He just completely disappeared. As you know, back when he was making videos, he was still in high school. He has since graduated. Maybe he went to college. There is a, there is a, a post that came up where he was uh, with a really nice car that he potentially bought. A lot of people think that post was actually fake and that wasn't him. So who really knows what happened with Crypto Nick? But really, we're going to talk about the three other guys. And first, let's start with Ryan Hildreth. So Ryan Hildreth has kind of tried to reinvent himself. Uh, initially, before he got into promoting cryptocurrency and BitConnect, he had sort of an entrepreneurship type channel. Uh, he grew massively because of BitConnect. He grew to over 100,000 subscribers. But since then, his subscribers have been dipping. And unfortunately, his channel just loses viewerships every day. Now, just within the past few months, he's tried to reinvent his channel. He's re removed pretty much all the cryptocurrency related information. And now he posts these kind of short clips all about entrepreneurship, talking about different things, how to motivate yourself, all these different types of topics. And unfortunately, it's not really doing too well for him. He doesn't really seem to understand with YouTube, longer videos tend to do better, but he seems to want to put out these like one to two to three minute uh, clips every single day. And apparently people haven't forgiven him because if you go to his channel, and I'll have links to all these guys' channels below, if you go to his channel, you'll see that a lot of dislikes still happen to show up on a lot of his videos. And unfortunately, despite the fact that he still has, you know, 93 thousand subscribers I believe uh, he still gets he only gets like you know less than a thousand views per video which is really unusual for a channel that large to have almost a hundred thousand subscribers to be getting less than a thousand views per video is really strange a lot of people think a lot of his subscribers were bought or maybe people just just completely are uninterested in watching his videos but it does seem that when he does upload videos he loses subscribers every day. You can look at his Social Blade account and he does lose subscribers every single day. Now, I think with a lot of these guys, if they ever came out and said, you know, I'm sorry for what happened, I probably shouldn't have done that, that might actually help them. Uh, Ryan Hildreth has never done that. He's talked in several videos about how he's a millionaire. The majority of that money coming from the money that he got from BitConnect from promoting that pyramid scheme. Uh, but yeah, he, he doesn't really seem to... Uh, care at all. He talks about how, you know, the haters are just trying to bring him down when in reality he, he screwed a lot of people out of money by promoting this scam project. Uh, so, you know, it, it's very, very odd that he continues to upload videos. He's not doing it correctly. These short, mini, short minute videos don't do well on YouTube, so I don't know why he does content like that. Uh, but if you want to take a look at this channel, it is there. Unfortunately, he is losing subscribers every single day. So sorry about that, Ryan. From there, let's go to the big head honcho of BitConnect, the guy that you always saw those YouTube ads from. You remember, 
Craig Grant. He'd be like, here is my BitConnect wallet and the millions of dollars that I've made from it. You remember that guy. He was all over YouTube. If you were watching any type of cryptocurrency videos in 2017, you guaranteed were to see an ad from this guy. Now, Craig now Craig Grant has kind of, a, and like Ryan Hildreth, has kind of tried to reinvent himself. Uh, but he went sort of a different route. And he's sort of like a Martha Stewart uh, type uh, workout type scammer type project. Uh, it's very interesting. If you do go to his channel, it's very unusual what it is now. IRC. Uh, occasionally, he will talk about cryptocurrency very infrequently. But he does post a lot of videos where he orders products from like Home Chef, these, these companies that send you food to make at home. And as you can see, Craig Grant seems to think he's sort of like the modern day crypto Martha Stewart. He's trying to reinvent himself, showing people how to cook these healthy meals at home. Uh, I think that's really interesting, the uh, shift that he's gone away from scammer to Martha Stewart slash workout videos, because he also does have some weird little short workout clips that he is now posting about him working out in his backyard and stuff. It's very unusual. Uh, obviously, he doesn't get the type of viewership that he did back in the crypt crypto days, back in the uh, BitConnect days. He was getting tons and tons of views, making millions of dollars promoting BitConnect. Now he's talking about Home Chef and doing weird workouts in his backyard. I would love to hear your thoughts on what you think about Craig Grant on his little shift. Do you think Craig Grant will be the YouTube version of Martha Stewart and reinvent himself and everyone will love him? I'd love to hear your opinions on that. And finally, let's talk about Trayvon James. He's probably one of the most well-known BitConnect scammers out there. After BitConnect went down, he kind of went on a downward spiral. I posted videos about this. He posted live streams in hotel rooms. He kind of like ran away to some secret hotel room. Uh, and he posted live streams that people were calling him out. And he was like, I don't care. I don't care that I'm being indicted, that, you know, I have to go to court. Nothing's going to happen to me. I did nothing wrong. He it talked all about that. He had kind of a downward spiral, kind of disappeared for a few months. Um, but yeah, he's since come back. And oddly enough, uh, his last few months, he's posted kind of technical analysis on cryptocurrency and it seems like quite a few people have actually forgiven him, which to me just seems really odd. This guy was one of the biggest scammers out there, made millions of dollars from BitConnect. He continued to promote scams afterwards. He promoted the uh, proof of we can scam. That, that scam went bust. He promoted a scam coin that had his name on it. It was the Trevon James coin. And occasionally he will promote other scam projects as well. But he is also doing a lot of technical analysis on cryptocurrency, talking about the crypto weather forecast. These are my personal opinion. Good evening, everyone. I'm Trevon James. Time for your evening crypto weather report. Let's look at the coin market. No cap. Total market capitalization of $214 billion. Let's look at your top five cryptos. All right, the market's continuing to pull back. We got Bitcoin down 0.3%, down to $3,470. XRP, it's not a blockchain. It's a glorified database. Down 1.8%, down to 31 cents. And it seems like a lot of people have actually forgiven him. And I will give Trayvon James credit. He is the most entertaining of the scammers out there compared to Craig Grant and Ryan Hildreth. So I understand why some people would like to watch him. It just seems odd to me that people would want to take any type of cryptocurrency advice from someone who is a known scammer, you know, ripped tons of people off, didn't care at all that people lost, you know, their entire life savings uh, promoting and getting involved into BitConnect. Doesn't seem to care about that at all, but apparently people have forgiven him. So that's really an interesting case that, you know, potentially if you put in a lot of, a lot of effort to try and uh, fix your image, potentially even some of the biggest BitConnect scammers out there can be forgiven. I would love to hear your thoughts below. What do you think about Trayvon James? Do you watch his channel? Do you think he should be forgiven? Do you think it's strange that people continue to watch him and like his all his videos that even though he was, you know, one of the biggest BitConnect scammers out there? I'd love to hear your thoughts below on that. So there are the three guys we talked about, Ryan Hildreth, Trayvon James, Craig Grant, all had unique and dif different paths that they took after BitConnect. Those are the three guys that are still around. 
a lot of the other channels just went completely bust, like Crypto Chick. Uh, those channels just disappeared off the face of the planet. But these were the three biggest guys out there. They're all still around, all doing different things. Uh, Trayvon James seems to be the only one that is still kind of flourishing uh, compared to the other two channels. But I'd love to hear thought, your thoughts below. What do you think about these guys? Uh, are you interested in still hearing more BitConnect news? Do you appreciate Trayvon James actually doing some of these crypto forecasts, these actual crypto news, instead of just scam videos? Do you not care at all? Where do you think these guys will be in a year? Will they still all be on YouTube? Will they still be making uh, profitable gains? Will their channels be growing? And where do you think cryptocurrency is going to go for the rest of 2019 and 2020 as well? Will we recover? Will, if we do recover, will we see more scams like BitConnect? Will there be a BitConnect 2.0? popping up if cryptocurrency does recover. I would love to hear your thoughts. Go ahead and leave them below. And there you go. There you have it. There's the BitConnect Boys 2019. Where are they now? Thanks for watching, everyone. We have more great content, so be sure and like and subscribe. And be sure to check out my new channel as well, link in description. Thanks, everyone, and have a great day.